MTD CNC are in Switzerland today. We're at Schaublin. I'm with Michelle and Richard from Floyd Automatic in the UK. We're going to be looking at this new product, which is the SRS. Michelle, could you just tell us briefly about what this actually is? SRS means Schaublin Runout System. We fix the tool here with these four screws here, and we adjust with here with the clock to have a perfect runout. First stage. Okay, now is this sort of thing normally a problem to, uh, to somebody that's, you know, let's say for example, grinding tools, Richard? Well, we've come across many tool grinding companies who have a persistent problem of repeatability. The real problem is that every time they change from one batch to another batch of a different size, setting the collet between those batches can be quite a nightmare. They have to constantly fine adjust it to get as close as they can. With this system, they can set the collet in each change to the one to two microns, so they've got a constant batch run, no problem. Okay, so how are they doing that then, Michelle? If there is a run out, are they then using these? We use after to adjust with the six screws. They have a number for one, one to six. We adjust it here to have a perfect run out. With uh, practice, you do that in two, three minutes is done. And, and what about then when I'm changing uh, from you know, tool to tool? Is, am I going to be guaranteed the, the if uh, repeatability? Have, if you have the same diameter, you can uh, make the series for 100, 200 and more pieces without problem. If you change sure. the collet, another diameter, you need again to adjust it, but sometimes very, very uh, few. Is this, in, in your opinion, Richard, is this a, a, an overkill at all to a problem that, that may exist but you can get round in other ways? Well, some people might interpret it as that, but in the overall economy of producing large batch production of quality drills, the time and saved by using a system like this and guaranteeing the accuracy through the, the longer productions pays dividends, no problem. So what about if this was maybe too advanced for my needs? Is, is, there, a, is there an alternative with this product? Yes, we have this a new product we uh, bring on the market. Uh, the advantage is the interface in the back is exactly the same as the SRS. That means if you have small series, you can use this collet chuck. If you have a larger series, you can change and easily go on the SRS. What I also uh, picked up, and I know you've mentioned about this already earlier today, Richard, is about the front um, loading of the collet. Is that, an, is that an important factor, do you think, as well? Well, I believe it is, particularly for those small batch sizes uh, where you don't necessarily need the complexity of uh, the SRS system, but you want a quick, easy-to-use system. This system allows the collet to be changed from the front. You do not need to actually use any, of the, uh, uh, any rear adjustment or rear allocation. It can be all done at the front of the machine. Uh, the, the product looks great, but what about uh, if it, does it matter what machine I've got, what machine tool this is going on to? How, how does it interface and how do you cope with the different machines out there? We produce today, this is a collet check and this is a SRS. And we have now all the interface for the different grinding machines. That means we can easily adapt this two uh, collet check on a Walter and Anka and all kind of grinding machines because we have also the, the interface and the robot who need for this two color check. If we were to make a comparison from the ultra fine adjustment version um, to your, let's, let's call it your more economical solution, how much time or how much faster is it to actually get zero run out using this system? If you have some practice with this system, you can do it in two, three minutes. We can have one, one micron run out. And it's repeatability. You can have 200 pieces with the same run out. I know you've had some real success with this as well since its launch. How many of these have you sold? We have uh, sold more than 500 pieces worldwide. And now it's coming more and more. Isn't this about machine builders coming to you in the end and saying, you know, actually, let's just fit this as a standard? I agree. This, this is exactly where they're going with this, pro this project. Uh, they are now beginning to get good feedback from the machine tool users and the machine tool producers, the OEMs, who are saying this is the sort of equipment they need to have on their machines to appeal to their customers. Okay, Michelle, uh, your turn on the floor. Give us a demonstration. Okay, uh, here now I'm, I'm looking at the highest point. 
and I'm looking the needle where it's going and we see that round 20 is the screw number three and I will turn it and I do it like we play golf slowly you not you don't go directly f in the hole and you can see that the needle start to be uh, approached and again number three and now I have uh, closely again number three Another one. Now, I just touch two screw and uh, the other four screw are open and I will close them. It means I just go inside and touch, touch the, the ring inside. Okay, now I will do the fine tuning. I, I go again and look highest point, now it's number one. So wherever the high point is, that's where you need to uh, tighten. To, to uh, tighten the, the screw. And I open it also to take all the tension on the, on the, in the collets, you know. Again, number one. And you see, I don't look the, the, the clock. I don't need it because it's Four. That's great. So we now have uh, on the zero, uh, zero run out, and you can take uh, the tool out and put it back. It would be exactly the same. Correct. That means now it's adjusted and you can uh, um, produce your series for 50, 100, 200 pieces and it would be stable one micron. So a real problem solver available in the UK from Floyd Automatic.